Facebook New York, and I'm going to give you two final judgments for the price of one. What is this? Okay, first final judgment, governments are full of shit. Okay, don't believe the hype. They told us, both the U.S. government and the Iraqi government, oh yeah, we got ISIS on the run. Uh, we, we're retaking the Anbar province. We're this close to knocking them out. Total and utter lies. Guess what? They just took Ramadi, one of the largest cities in Iraq. Facts are on the ground. You can't deny them. They took the city. Yes, I got flash uh, news for you guys. It turns out governments lie. They don't lie all the time. That's why you need people to honestly assess whether they're telling the truth or not. In this case, they weren't. Now, final judgment number two. Iraq doesn't exist. It never existed. It was a fantasy of the Western powers that literally drew random lines in the sand. They put Shiites, Sunnis, and Kurds together. They never belong together. They don't want to be together. Why did uh, ISIS take Ramadi? Because the Shiites wouldn't send any money to the local Sunni police because they don't trust the Sunni police because they hate the Sunnis. And in fact, the police are like, look, we're fighting ISIS for you. Send us weapons so we can fight ISIS. And the Shiite government wouldn't do it because they don't like the Sunnis. They don't belong together. They don't want to fight for each other. And the Sunnis, sometimes when they got the money or the weapons, would hand it over to ISIS. You know why? Because they don't like the Shiites. And even when they win, the Shiites come in, sometimes do retribution against the local Sunnis. The Sunnis say, why would I want to help them? I don't want to help them. They're not part of one nation. They never have been. So the final judgment is, for God's sake, split it into three already. We already know it. It's the Shiite area, the Sunni area, and the Kurdish area. That's what we should have done from the beginning. We have wasted countless years and lives trying to do the undoable, which is putting Iraq back together again. Final judgment. Split it up and don't trust the government.